Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Where is the train coming through? That's, that's the tunnel construction site there. I'm assuming what they want is the train to be able to come through here somewhere, but we're going to be the ones that's going to have to decide exactly how it comes through. I, I mean, I don't know. Prepare sections of rail. Zero of two. All right, let's go and see what they have to say. Mountainous terrain stands in the way of level track routing. Arrange test drillings for building tunnels. Test drillings. Transport 80 stone from the drilling site to the stone heap. This is the tunnel construction site. Where's the stone heap? Tokyo Food Processing. Bridge construction site. Steel mill. Construction. Which test drilling. It means it's got to go through there, doesn't it? There's, there's nothing else. Tokyo Farm. Komatsu Materials Dump Site number two. Saka's got nothing over there. Uh, see, I got Nagoya Fishery. Tokyo Farm. Oh, it's, there's nothing else over here. So how am I supposed to do this? Well, I'm going to remove stone. But where, where have I got to put it? This is the bit that I'm slightly confused about now. From the... Transport 80 stone from the drilling site to the stone heap. There's the drilling site. Bridge construction site. Oh, well. I've got to transport 80 stone from there over to here. Right, well, that's, that's easy enough. Even I can cope with such a complex task. And then you over this side. If the route is supposed to run along the straightest path, the mouth of Lake Hamana has to be dealt with. Make preparations for building a bridge. Deliver 80 construction materials to the bridge construction site. Well, there's the construction site, and that would be the construction materials plant over there. Doesn't say that I actually need anything other than just to connect the two up. I've got $500 million to be able to do this with, which I think is reasonably easy for us to be able to cope with. So we're going to start off with Mishima. Now, I generally like to go to the towns and just do a couple of small upgrades. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do an upgrade on there. And then I'm going to bring that one out a little bit so that I don't have to destroy that structure. And I'm going to put that one there so that I've got a loop around there. I'm going to loop that one onto there and then this one is going to come out and i am going to destroy that property i'm going to go up like that no i'm not i don't want to go up and destroy that because that road like, honestly i don't want to i don't want to like be destroying that road not if i can help it bring that down like that maybe and then down further really like me this one and you go out onto there and then I join you up onto there right I think that would be all right like I'm not like making it too steep on the edges there and I've now got some loops round on this I think this is better I think this is better now I will do a few similar things over here I don't quite want to do that because it's going to make it go a little bit weird I'm going to bring you out that way. And again, it's it's doing it's making it a bit weird. So I think we'd be better off bringing it down there. Joining that in like that. And then getting rid of that bit. So it's still got some dips around on here. And it's not ideal. It's sort of forcing that road up a bit. But... I think that I think that will be all right on there, and we can go back here onto the road, and I can keep going with this. So I could put another bit out there. I'm not going to though. I'm going to leave that like it is. You over this side. I'm going to do that. So we've got quite a sharp turn coming back through, just because I think that looks quite cool. And it is up there, but oh, I don't need to do anything else on that. Now, uh, Nagoya, you can go into there. Why is that removing? I don't know why that's removing a vehicle. That one will go up to there. Um, 
That one's going to go out over to there, like that. You are going to go and you're going to join in here. And that one is going to go there, like that. And that one is actually going to go like that. So that I've sort of got some of those joined in. Lots and lots of loops. Because what we're able to do with these loops later on is it makes it a lot easier to put in bus transports and things like that. So if I can join a load of these together beforehand... It just makes my life a lot more simple. Put you to there. You over this way. Now, I'm not going to join that one in. I don't need to do that. But I will join that one in there. Put you straight across like that. This one over here will also join in. We'll go out to about there. And I'll bring that back in onto there like that. Uh, one more here one more out on there like that so osaka has now got a whole load of loops and shiga is the last one just that city there we will join that loop we will join this one here which will run along the coast actually i'm not going to do it like that i'm going to do it like this and i bring you kind of along the coastline over here and this one is going to go a little bit differently to what the others have been doing Bring you out that way. There. Beachfront. Beachfront sort of properties that we're building out here. And then you're just going to join straight in like that. And then I'll go back to the straight joins. And I will put that one straight across onto there. That one can stay stuck out that way. And you can go over to here and join onto there. Excellent. There is all the cities kind of like I've, I've just I haven't really done a lot to them. I've, I've only like Im made some slight improvements that bit up there. I'd actually like to improve that road. And in order to do that, I'm going to go down this way. We're going to go to that one there. I'm going to upgrade. Really? I can't even upgrade it to that one. This one here is a limit of 60K. That one's a limit of 80K. I suppose. Yeah, 60K is. All right, I I'll run with that. I'll run with the 60k. You, I can at least upgrade that one. And then over here, I can't upgrade that one, but I can upgrade that one. So you can just stay kind of slow. I can upgrade that one there. Over here, collision on there. So that's going to have to stay as small stuff. Uh, you can be upgraded. Uh, nope, don't need any more. There's all of those bits done. That one's running right through there, and, I mean, it can just go through here, over to there, and then out to that side. And it needs to get over to here. Now, that's 80k. I, I'm not going to go any bigger than that. I'm just going to take a small road like this. I don't think we need any more than that. So now we'll go to that one. And this road is going to go up along there like that. And... Hmm... I'm actually thinking it would be better if it comes out of there. So that one building there is going to have to be removed. And then this road can go all the way out and join in onto there. That bit is nice and simple. We've then got this one over here. I want to do something fairly similar to this. That one, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to bring that. Oh, okay. I definitely want to do that. Just going to go down like that. Because I kind of want to follow the terrain a bit. I don't mind if it goes up and down a hill. I, I really don't mind about going up and down the hills. I think that's absolutely fine. You no, know, roads tend to do that from time to time. So I bring you out that way and we'll go over through here. So if I do that, it kind of digs right down into the terrain too much. And I don't want I don't want to be digging too much into the terrain. But I'm also not fussed about getting the contour lines out and, and forcing it to follow the contours like uh, wiggling the road around uh, I'd rather just go straight up and over everything you know our vehicles have got engines I, I figure they're able to cope with it up to there and bring you down there like that okay that's that's good that's good we got a nice little wavy road just going between these two uh wait I don't want to go to that one I want to go to this one <laughs> I want to go to this one over here. I tell you what, we'll just have these two because that one there is going to end up having to be used for some of this anyway. So if I bring you round, no, round, round, go like that. I want to be difficult with this. 
and I'll put you over there like that. That will work nicely. Now, it says that we're going to have to build a bridge across here somewhere. So we're going to end up having to do something like that at some point. But I'm not quite sure when. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another road out this side. So I don't know, I don't even know what you are here. I'm not quite sure what that one is. I'll have a look in a minute. I want to keep doing this. This road here, we're going to go around the lake. I'm not going to build a bridge here because I figure that we're probably going to be wanting to do something with roads, uh, with, with building like a, a bridge or something around this lake in, in a minute. So I'll bring you out over here like this. Over to there. And you want to come down. You're going to join into this town in here. So you're going to come down there like that. Now where are we going to... I'm going to join you in over this side. I'll bring you in over to there. Uh, over to there. And then I'm going to join you in down there, like that. Right, so that's connected that bit. And then we'll join Nagoya in on the other side. And we'll join the road up onto here. Probably join another road up into there, into Nagoya. So that I've got extra bits of road going up that way. What else was it I was looking at doing? Uh, oh, I want to see what this is. I got nothing there at the moment, so I'm assuming there's going to be maybe some sort of... I could end up having to delete some of that road over that side. If I do, I do. So be it. That's, that's just how it's going to be. We'll take you down this way. And first up, we're going to take a road from this side. And we're just going to join you right into the middle there. So you do at least have the ability to go out either way on this one. And then that one is going to come out from there. It's going to go like that. And you're going to curve round. And you're going to curve round as well. And you're going to join into there. So that we've got a join on that side. And then I want this road to come out. Actually, I want that road to come out up to sort of like there. And then bring you up like that way. That's, that's the kind of curve I'm looking for. Something along those lines. I think that's a little bit better. Just bringing that over to there. I won't join in the rest of those over that side just yet. But what I am going to do is join in this over here. Now, can I upgrade that? That's got collision. I should be able to do this one, actually. All right, if I can get rid of that bit all the way over there like that, I can then go and rebuild that road. So I'll take you. I'll take you. Actually, I'm going to take straight road there and I'm going to put that road in front of you all the way over like that and then we'll go to that one no we'll go to that one you should now be able to do a proper upgrade right it's just gonna have to upgrade the entire section all the way along so be it if that's what it's got to do that's what it's got to do and then you will join onto there like that that one there is ready to connect out onto the end. So we're going to bring you over this way. And then we're going to take you... Oh, no. I don't want to do that. I'm going to join onto that end of it. And I'm going to bring you up onto there. So I've now got some road networks that are sort of connected right the way across a lot of Japan. This particular network over here, I'm going to bring that road out. And it's going to connect up straight up there onto there. But what I'm also going to do with this one is that one is going to be another one of these. It's going to come out round like that. That's lifting that up a little bit too much. I don't like that. Let's try that again, shall we? I'll bring you around like that. That's a bit better. It's just like going too much into the terrain. I like it to follow the terrain quite nicely. So when it goes in too much, I mean, yeah, it's having to build it up a little bit there, but I think that's all right. That's that's something that I'm, I'm willing to have. And then bring you all the way over here. See, it's too much over there. We want that one to go up and over a little bit more. Over that way. There. Over there. And then join that bit right in across there. That's better. Right, so I've linked in the farm into Hamatsu over that side and I've linked that and that and that's all the way over to Mishima over that side 
Tokyo, we haven't got there yet, but we don't need to. So far, so good. Next on the list, we're going to want to start putting down some modular truck stations. So I'm going to assume we want 30 meter platforms. I'm also going to assume that we're going to take three platforms on each. And we're going to try and set these up as the main ones for each town. So I've got that one there that will then be able to deliver to the town as a whole. I'm going to have another one here, and this one is going to be... Actually, that one could go up on this side. I'm going to bring that one right the way around. Now, that one's going to be quite costly, because it's going to have to go right back into the cliff in there. That's an unsightly gash into the hillside, that is, isn't it? That is a very unsightly gash into there. I'll bring that forward. Uh, right, we're, we're going to do this like this. Look, I'm going to bring that one round. i bring that as close to that. Actually, I can't bring it too close to the road. Because the road is... that the, the slope that the road is on is already sort of making that difficult. So we're just going to plonk that one down there. That's quite an expensive one. Uh, but it's dug right into the cliffs there. So that's that's like one with a difference. We'll just, we'll just call that one with a difference over there. You over here, it would be better if you were up there, but I don't think I will. I'm going to put this one on the outskirts. It's going to be over on this side. You're going to go right there. Not like that. Uh, yeah, refund that one. Go back into here. Uh, I wanted to bring that one over that way, like that. So I can add another platform or two if I've got to. Put you in like that. Uh, there, that's where I want that one, like that. Shiga and Osaka, we will leave those until later. So I've got the three truck stops in there. Next up, we want to go with the small truck stops now. And I want one with the quarry over here. That one is going to go that side because I can't take in both of these. Not even close. Right, so we're going to have to put one with the quarry over here. Uh, yeah, I, I'll put that one in over there. I just want one there, and then these over this side, they're going to be much the same. I've got one here that's going to be delivering on there. Actually, this one. I'm going to put this one up here, because I suspect that I'm going to want it for that one. Whatever that thing is, I'm going to want it for over there at some point soon. Now, you... Is that one... Oh, wait a minute. That's already covering it. Okay, so that one there is being covered by this one by the town. So I'm going to leave it as that one. Yes, they've got to go a little bit further. But they are covering the construction material plant. So I don't need to have any more than that. And all we need to do is start setting up some lines. We want one line from Mishima down over to there. And we want one line that is going to go from here over to here. And then we want to get some trucks on it. If we're going to be able to buy some vehicles, we're going to need one of... Nope, we're going to need buildings. We're going to need one of these. A road depot. We're going to... Just wondering where we should put said road depot. I think we're going to put this one over here. And then it's going to... It's sort of going to be able to feed all of these other ones. At least that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Like if I have that one in Hamatsu... Where am I going to put it? This little bit of a street here. This this kind of weird bit of street that's going on over here. I think I'd like to put it onto that. Doesn't like the angle on that. It'd be quite cool if we can put this on here. Okay, that I like. I like that, like that, there. And it's, it also, it, it sort of steps up a little bit. Why aren't you stepping up a bit? I want you up like that. All right, let's see if I let's see if I can make it come up like that. Um, not that one. No. Oh, now now I've gotten rid of it. Uh, there is actually a control for bringing it up. So if I press the, well, which one is it? Right, that's that's the rotation. I I can rotate it like that. Let me bring it out over here a minute and see if I've, I've got it now. Oh, I did have it right. It's the full stop and the other one. 
they bring them out. So in order to actually join it on, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to bring it back over to here, I think. And then I'm going to have to join a road onto it. So I'd actually like to put this one over here because I kind of like the idea of having it stepped up away from the rest of the town. So we will build the ground up around it a little bit like that. We will plonk it right up on top there. And then I'm going to have that one sort of stepped down in. I, I, I like the look of this. I think this is going to look very, very cool. So we'll join that one onto there and bring it right down into there like that. Too much. No, it's not. Do not tell me it's too much slope. This is perfect. Okay. It's too much slope for there, but it's not for right there. Perfect. There we go. We've got... Okay. I love this. We've got a proper launch right, right here for all of our trucks everything that we're going to be using they've got a proper launch pad there where they can come out and join the rest of society we're going to need some road so we need to remove the stone from here we need to get it over to here so that's a very very simple line so we can go for a line over here we're going to take one from the mishima sidings uh, over to the mishima exchange that is it it doesn't need to have any more than that and then we'll go new line over here. This one, we want to go... Wait, what was the other bit that I need to do? Uh, prepare the bridge construction. Well, that's the that's the bridge site there, isn't it? And we've got to bring it from over here. Uh, Nagoya Central over to Hamatsu West. Over that way. So we deliver that over to here. Nagoya Construction Materials Plant over that way. That will come into here. And everything should be tickety-boo with that. Deliver construction material, remove stone. So all we need to do now is buy vehicles. Now, I reckon we're going to what? Well, let's have a look at what vehicles we've got first. Go to the vehicle at Hamatsu Road Depot, buy vehicles. Uh, we're looking at a ZIS. We're going to be going for a ZIS flatbed that can take the stone and the construction materials we've got a dump truck here which is just for the stone and the other it's got a capacity of 15 this one is 13 uh 60k 60k we'll go with this one we will go with this one right here and i reckon we can start off with 10 vehicles for each line probably is a little bit you know what no we'll go for eight and how far have we got we haven't actually got very far to go on so eight vehicles on that line that one's got a little bit further to go, but not very much, has it? Right, honestly, if you look between them, I'd... Okay, eight vehicles per line. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll do 16 vehicles on this. So we'll go 16 on there. Uh, I didn't actually want to buy buses. Um, sell selected vehicles. Yes. Right. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um... Flatbed trucks over here, so I want to buy 16 of these, not 16 buses. That's that's that, that's bad. When you, when you accidentally buy 16 buses, you really, really don't want to do that, do you? Right, we've got seven. We've got eight vehicles right there. We're going to color them red, and I'm going to assign them onto line one. Then this lot here are going to be colored yellow, and they are going to be assigned onto line two, like that. Um... I won't be naming these. I will only be naming the trains, planes, and not the automobiles. Trains and planes and boats is the ones that we'll be named because that way I don't have to be spending hours and hours and hours and hours putting in lots and lots and lots of names. I sure you understand. I'm absolutely certain that you all understand. I have gone through the entire list of names in this series, I think, four times now. I think I'm now on my fifth time going through it. So I've just started it again. So now we will just use the um, the big vehicles. Uh, so apologies to anybody that's only just been added to the list. Because it's going to be a little while before you do make your way into this series. But uh, I'm, also, I'm hoping that you two will also understand. So out we go. Down our ramp over here. I'm, I'm loving this ramp. I'm absolutely loving the ramp. Look at this. It, this, this is brilliant. Let's gonna speed that up a little bit i really really love the ramp the ramp is fan schmastic it's a bit noisy here but again i uh, that, that, that's fine this is awesome i
okay, I, I should do that. I should do that more often. I should do things like that more often. I think that is absolutely brilliant. We've also got all of these road connections now, and already people are using the road connections. Look, see that they're racing off over there. Philip something um, is racing off, so we can prepare our sections of rail. So these are coming up here, and we've already got construction materials there ready to go to Nagoya Central. And over this side, I have got a boatload of stone already out there, ready and waiting for the eight trucks as soon as they turn up. There they are. We've got the fleet of them turning up. And I'm going to scroll all the way over to here. And then I'm going to scroll all the way in here again like that. I love being able to do that. That sort of insta-scroll all the way over. Vehicle, road vehicle 16 is taking the first 13 bricks out along the road and getting ready to launch over there. And then over this side, there's the first vehicles coming in. And that's the very first one on his way over there with 13 stone on board. I'm curious how much they're going to make for a load of stone and a load of materials over there so stone in here is going to be delivered up to there how much are you going to get for one full load of stone in you go he goes up round and he will deliver onto that bit you get sixty eight thousand dollars for one load on there and then we'll come over to here and this guy is getting us seventy three thousand dollars in there that basically means these guys are going to end up being immensely profitable. We are going to have a huge amount of money coming in from them. I mean, yes, we are starting out with half a billion dollars. So it's not like we're going to be short of a penny or two. Um, but it does help if we can have a few extra pennies on top of all of that. It, it just helps keep things ticking along. And that one is literally about to go. There we go. First task completed. The second one is not going to be very far behind with our 80 construction materials brought in as well. It might actually, it seems that the construction materials are a little bit slower. They're, they're not slower coming over, they're, or they're not slower on the vehicles. I think it's just slower. They're slower to be produced over there. So that in turn is going to be a little bit slower bringing them down the road this way. Uh, but that's fine. Right, I got 13 coming in there, and then we got road vehicle 15 here. He's got 13 as well, and you've got seven. I think that should be enough. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's plenty. You will actually have enough with you. Your delivery right there. There we go. Excellent. Under your expert guidance, the necessary preliminary work has been completed in short order. Now the actual route construction is next on the list. See to it that the necessary construction materials are delivered and use a precisely planned embankment to make sure that the maximum peak velocity is reached whenever possible. The route is going to be subjected to enormously high levels of stress. Large amounts of steel and concrete provide for the required stability. Deliver 80 steel and 80 construction materials to the main office. Where's the main office? That would be the main office. Central, right there. So I'm already delivering construction materials. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.